Hi, I'm Joe Carmichael, the Chief Medical Officer at UC Irvine Health. You know, as a surgeon, uh, patient safety is always, uh, it's, it's just been front and center for me. It's, it's very personal, um, and I think for all surgeons, and uh, related to our outcomes with our patients. You know, as healthcare providers, healthcare administrators, we have to acknowledge that we're in a human system, and human systems are un unfortunately prone to error. We, we can never be perfect. What we can do is minimize or even eliminate the harm involved with the errors that we can make as human beings. I would encourage uh, folks listening to consider participating in things like the patient safety movement uh, annual meeting uh, that's coming up this September to discuss these issues uh, with leaders in the area and consider how we can uh, continue our pursuit to zero harm. I think one of the most important things that we can do in 2024 is to improve our understanding about what our safety events are. Right now we use a number of different disparate systems that have input into what our safety problems are, but there are many events that are not captured in our hospitals today, and we don't have reliable systems to be able to assess, are we better today than we were last year? or two years ago, we don't know. If you look globally, the Patient Safety Movement Foundation is probably the preeminent private organization working on patient safety. And I think in a lot of ways has stepped in where some of the public programs uh, stepped back from, from patient safety. A lot has been done, but we haven't had as much uh, impact as we should have. And so the goals of zero patient harm, I think, are incredibly important in terms of keeping the nation, but also internationally, since obviously I care about patient safety on the global uh, sphere. Uh, keeping the focus on, on patient safety is gonna be incredibly important with those types of goals. There's a lot of promise in new technologies that's gonna allow for better patient monitoring, better diagnosis, uh, and uh, better engagement of patients in, the, in their own care, and I think Coupling those types of uh, strategic and policy statements with uh, some of the possibilities of this new technology, I think is going to be the way that we're going to be able to make an impact even when we have shrinking resources to do it. It goes back to what Hippocrates said thousands of years ago, which is first to no harm. So if we can first do no harm to anyone who walks in, we will get to zero. I hope to see you all at the September World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit. We have wonderful speakers who are coming. We have wonderful updates to provide you. And it's a chance for all of us to recharge, reconnect, and make the commitment for the next year.